Good evening. Tonight on our program, we'll be discussing several stock market timing strategies and how they can be used in conjunction with a long-term investment policy of dollar cost averaging into a diversified portfolio of no-load mutual funds. With me, of course, is our panel of experts. And the first question goes to Brian. Brian, when is it appropriate to switch from a bond fund to a money market fund? Oh. No! Again! Well, no, you burn again! No! You make me... Stocks and bondage will not be seen tonight, so that we may bring you the following episode of Almost Live. With me, Pat Cashman, Tracy Conway, Bob Nelson, Bill Nye, Bill Stainton, Steve Wilson, and Ed Wyatt, and starring Jay Leno. And I just gotta say how refreshing it will be to finally be working with a real pro. I was beginning to think I was the only one around here. But now I'll be working side by side with a gentleman who shares the same sense of dignity, class, and social uh, style that I do. So now, here he is. Jay, 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 Jay. Lemo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Been a big week around here. I guess the big news, a tragic story over there in Mercer Island last weekend. Yeah. I guess parents hid the Easter eggs for the big hunt and the kids immediately retained counsel and sued for mental anguish. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> you read this? Woman trying to get more trees planted along the side streets in uh, Ballard. That's what Ballard drivers need, huh? More targets to aim at. <laughs> Back on the way over here, I drove past the Evergreen State College. Boy, now I know how you become a deadhead, huh? You major in it at Evergreen. It's the only school in America where you get credit for dropping out. And over in Kent, of course, town is thrilled. They're getting a new county jail. Kent's very excited, but the inmates are rioting. They're thinking of suing for cruel and unusual punishment. You know, I don't know. Uh, Jay, what, what's, what's going on? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I thought this was, uh, you know, under the new NBC contract, I host all late-night programming. Anything past 11 is money. Well, this was... I tell you what, was, I understand was, was it's going to be hard on you. So, why don't you uh, get yourself a little something, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure, but... Be right back. Uh, you know, I know, the, I know the show really well, good, so good. I, I, I'm sure that I could help you out. Is there anything that I could, that I, that I could do for you? What, uh, yeah, two sugars is great. Okay? Two sugars. Two sugars. Okay? Yeah, okay. All right, then get one for yourself. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye, Mr. Leonard. Bye. Wow. Well, how about that? How about that? Jay Leno, ladies and gentlemen. Jay Leno, how about that? Well, well, it looks like I guess I'm going to need a new job in about a month. Uh, so... I guess, I guess I could be a gypsy moth sprayer. That's, that's, <laughs> you know, that's big business these days. There are planes, uh, right now, I imagine, spraying South King County, Pierce County. They don't, they don't want to alarm the citizens, but they're telling them to take precautions after spraying. They're supposed to wash their cars, comb out their sideburns, you know, take, <laughs> take off their caps, shake them off a little bit. And anyone with hair teased out more than 24 inches across is supposed to stay indoors. So I'm guessing there's, there's not going to be a lot happening down there for a few weeks. Although the people in Fife are pretty happy. They think a little spring ought to freshen the town right up, so, <laughs> which is good. Or maybe I could, get a, I could get work down at Hanford. You might know that the economy is booming down there because of the cleanup. And now, how, how exactly do you clean up a nuclear waste dump? I mean, wh wh where do you put it then? I mean, wh wh where do you put it? it? It seems to me that Hanford is like your dorm room in college. You know, it's like <laughs> when you got to clean stuff up, you just move stuff around when you got to clean it. You got a girl coming over to your dorm room, you get everything in a pile and drape that flag <laughs> over it or something. You know? <laughs> I bet that down at Hanford, that's what they're doing. They're just throwing plutonium under the bed is what I, is just what I guess. You know, I, I guess I've got to get a job to fill up all the free time I'm about to have. And, you know, you really don't have too much free time in life. 
we were just looking at one of those books that tells what the average person does in a lifetime. You know, like, you know, you spend 12 years watching television, five years in the bathroom, and all that sort of <laughs> stuff. I mean, I find that stuff really fascinating. So we at Almost Live did some calculations and came up with some other statistics you might find interesting. Like, did you know that during their lifetime, the average Linwood woman will spend 11 years applying blush? <laughs> <laughs> The average Kent resident will spend three years trying to figure out how to get tobacco stains out of the shag carpet. True. The average Kennedy will spend 14 years explaining how he didn't really do anything wrong. The average Seattle Mariner will spend eight years wondering what it sounds like when a bat hits a ball real hard. Eight years. The average Bellingham resident will spend 12 years in his van looking for his bandana, blinking and saying, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the average golden retriever will spend 10 years wondering what's going on and is there a tennis ball involved. <laughs> and finally, the average police officer will spend two years asking Dale Ellis to please step out of his vehicle. <laughs> just, just some averages in life. And whatever you choose to do, whatever activity you choose in life, remember to obey the rules, because if you don't, this guy goes to work. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by for Billy Kwan. Yeah. It's time for Mind Your Manners with Billy Kwan. Today's episode, Hoops of Fury. Mm -hmm. 97, 98, 99 free throws. Here's 100. Here we go, baby. Whee! Basketball! Woo! <laughs> oh. hey! You thoughtless idiot. You have ruined my shot. Oh, you want to shoot a basketball, huh? Watch this. Huh. Oh. He is very dexterous for a dork. Oh. Always be courteous or Billy will slam jam you. Remember, kids, be like Billy. Behave yourself. All right, stay with us. We've got a great show, and we'll be right back. on that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's okay, I'll get it myself. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Why don't you go lay down? <laughs> I think I'll go pack some records. <laughs> gals. See, are you tired of breaking in new guys, teaching them the relationship ropes while spending every dime to keep them looking good? Then come on down to Val Rippington's used men lot. We got the finest selection of pre-owned men in the state. Just take a look at this top of the line model. Easy handling, really hugs those curves. And look at this. It's a convertible. A steal. Just 69 dollars 
But if you're on the market for just a basic, decent guy, you can't go wrong with Bob. He's a reliable, no frills model. Just one previous owner. She only traded him in because she wanted something a little zippier. On a budget? How about a dependable foreign model? And here's a dreamboat classic. Ladies, this model is really loaded. Mint condition, plenty of power under that hood, and tinted glass. They just don't make them like this anymore. Looking for something fun? Better snap up this sporty Italian model. Cute, all original parts, runs good. Just $39.95. Now here's the diamond in the rough with extremely low mileage. In fact, this little feller's barely been out of the garage. Just trips back and forth to my stop. Of course, every man at Val Rippington's comes equipped with his own state-of-the-art stereo system. So push, pull, or drag your used man to Val's, and let's make a deal. Come by this Sunday and pet Jojo, the monkey. See y'all there. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. <clears throat> well, I guess there's no escaping it now. The recession has caught up to the Northwest. You know, just the other day, a total stranger came up to me on the street, mentioned he was a little short of cash. All he owned were the clothes on his back and the large knife in his hand. Well... <laughs> I felt sorry for him, so I decided to give him my wallet, all my credit cards, and the new watch I'd had for less than a week. But the point I'm trying to make is that we all have to try to help out our fellow man, especially when he or she is a neighbor, a fellow Northwesterner. And the way that you do that, of course, is to buy Northwest. So we at Almost Live went out today and found some items that are uniquely Northwest. Now, first, you've all played Trivial Pursuit, but have you played Trivial Pursuit the Yakima game, the Farm Implements <laughs> Edition. Here, here's a uh, sample question in the category Combines. The question is, when is it necessary to adjust the header? See, fun for the whole family. <laughs> well, if you like music, <coughs> you'll love Rap Songs of Bellevue. Uh, this all-digital CD contains all your favorite East Side rap songs like Chillin' in the Cul-de-Sac. <laughs> you can't touch this Acura. And <laughs> my posse's in line at Factoria Cinemas. Uh, well, do you like to read? Do you like to read about the Northwest? Then you love this new book, Northwest Best Places to Spit. <laughs> You know, it's been a, best, a perennial bestseller down in Vancouver, and it's bound to be a hit around here. Well, the weather's getting warmer, and after a hard day of mowing the lawn, you can build up quite a thirst. Why not quench that thirst with Nirvana beer? <laughs> you know, you drink a lot of these real fast, and soon you'll be singing just like Kurt Cobain. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, if you find yourself looking... If you find yourself looking for a gift for that special friend in Auburn, how about these pre-labeled videotapes? The set includes tapes for recording every show an Auburn resident watches, including Tractor Pulse, <laughs> Fishing Shows, American Gladiators, and look at this, seven tapes devoted to Matlock <laughs> for your Auburn friends. You know, good dental hygiene is important to all Northwesterners, and one way to keep your breath as fresh and as sweet as Puget Sound itself is with authentic Fairy Captain mouthwash. <laughs> one swig of this, and you'll be ready to face the world. Two swigs, and you'll just be faced. <laughs> and here's a special Northwest treat for the ladies. It's Linwood Knock You On Your Ass Perfume. <laughs> Now you can smell just as nice and just as strong as they do in Linwood. Well, if you live in Spokane, what better way to wake up in the morning than to a big brimming bowl of Kellogg's Skull Flakes? <laughs> rich, rich, dark, and chewy. Uh, these will get you going and keep you going all day long. Finally, no Northwest wardrobe would be complete without the latest fashion trend. It's the Town of Monroe t-shirt. This handsome shirt has been a favorite in Monroe for over 30 years. Also very popular in Fife, Bothell, and Enumclaw. And now you can have one too. These are just a few of the many quality products made right here. So support your fellow Northwesterner and buy Northwest.
amplification for Almost Live, provided by American Music. Hey, bud. Hey, hey, it's time to go to lunch. Where do you want to go? It's your turn to pick. Well, doesn't matter to me, you know, uh, whatever you think. Well, you know me. I mean, I'll, I'll eat anything. Well, uh, how about some Thai food? Then? Uh, we haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Sounds great. Great. Uh, I'll, I'll drive. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are you out of shape? Do you eat too much? Are you depressed because all your friends look better than you? Then you need to try our amazing new workout machine, the Super Aerobic Exerciser Baton. Developed after years of study by a research team at Stanford, the Super Aerobic Exerciser Baton is lightweight, easy to use, and perfect for hundreds of different exercises. I love the Super Aerobic Exerciser Baton, and when I'm finished exercising, it's so convenient and easy to store. <laughs> I'm a professional athlete. The Super Aerobic Exerciser Baton <laughs> keeps me ready for the big games. I recommend it, and I use it. I like to use the baton outdoors, and when I'm finished working out, my dog likes it too. Go get it, Nookie, go get it! The Super Aerobic Exerciser Baton, only $29.95. Order before 11.45, and we'll throw in the Dynamic Muscle Toning Cube, absolutely free. Call now. Good evening, and welcome to the John Report. I'm John, here's my report. The local knowledge bowl for area high schools was won by Foss High School of Tacoma. The Tacoma team won on the final question, how many bullets in an AK-47 assault rifle? <laughs> well, instead of Alki Beach, the Seafair Pirates will land at Golden Gardens Park in Ballard. Officials are warning older residents of Ballard to stay indoors so they don't have flashbacks to the days of the Viking invasions. <laughs> well, winds of up to 80 miles an hour hit parts of South King County earlier this week. No major damage damage was reported, but several cars were completely knocked off their blocks. <laughs> Bob Dylan will be playing a Paramount this Monday and Tuesday, will be playing at the Paramount this Monday and Tuesday. The concerts will be closed captioned for the mumbling impaired. <laughs> Representative Norm Dix has committed to being a superdelegate for Bill Clinton. Dix says that he'll have more time to campaign for Clinton as soon as he tapes his last episode of the season as Norm on Cheers. <laughs> King County and Seattle police will expose themselves and even let women fondle them to help make arrests for prostitution. Police say they can determine whether a woman is a prostitute in about 10 minutes. <laughs> At the U2 concert on Tuesday, lead singer Bono said that the Seattle-Tacoma area reminded him of his native Dublin. Bono said that the trees made him think of the green hills of Ireland, and downtown Tacoma reminded him of IRA bombings. <laughs> Finally, a study, a study released this week claims that an octopus has a great aptitude for higher learning. They say that the octopus rates just below the chimpanzee, but just above most high school PE teachers. <laughs> In light of this discovery, the Democratic Party immediately announced that an octopus will enter the presidential campaign. <laughs> this has been the John Report. Thank you. And we'll be right back. So how's Carol? Hey, I dumped her. <laughs> You're kidding me, you dumped her? <sighs> yeah, you know, I, I got tired of that constant bitch, 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 bitch. <laughs> uh, you're better off. <laughs> Brought to you by America's heavy metal community. Lame! 
game. Bands moving to Seattle to get a record contract. Lame! Oh, now wallows in lameness. Oh. Dialing 206 to get Aberdeen. Lame! Decentralization of the Soviet economy leading to a backlash against the free market movement. <laughs> Stage diving in knee pads. Lame! Non-dysfunctional families! Lame! 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 Girls with no sense of humor about firecrackers! Lame! It's only way! Excusable! That's uh, just about all we have for this oh. week. Oh, I know, I know. It just seems like seems like we just got started. I want to want to thank Jay Leno uh, for coming in here. I'm, I guess uh, he's going to have a happy home here. I know when he takes over. Uh, I've still I'll still be here next week, and I hope you join us. We've got a new episode of the Worst Girlfriend of the World and Speedwalker. So yeah. tune in next week. Consideration for Almost Live, provided by Pizzeria Pagliacci, featuring traditional and gourmet pizza by the show. Pizzeria Pagliacci, rated Seattle's best pizza.